Hello my friends and welcome back for episode 5 of the Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. As you can see, we have basically transformed our living space into the actual Teen Titans Tower. It just needed to be done, I don't know. I wanted to uh, complete what I was talking about yesterday by making a big empty space here that I can eventually fill up with sorts of different things, maybe banners or something to hold armor. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Maybe this could be where the animals live. There's a lot of options. Uh, and I also got a bunch of extra living spaces here, so when we run into NPCs, well, they'll have a spot to go and I don't have to worry about building it later on. We've got a total of 10 spaces now. So that should keep us uh, going for a little bit. And I've also done a little bit of expanding down here in the, uh, you know, chest area. Uh, I need actually more chests to fill out this space, so that's part of why we'll do our adventuring today, as if we needed a reason. I've also moved our bars and ore up here, so that way it's maybe a little bit more centrally located, and perhaps I can craft right out of the chest. And maybe when I come home from a hard day of adventuring, I can just pop in front of this whole thing and do that whole quick stack to chest thing, uh, if that does work out for me. We'll see if it does. There we go. Put the stars in the ammo, now we're happy. So, what's on today's docket? Well, we're gonna take a quick look in a direction. I haven't decided which direction. Let's go left. We're gonna go left. And we're gonna see what's over there. Uh, I want to just run into new areas. I want to find new caves. I want to see what there is to see. I don't care that it's dark out right now. We've got torches. And we're gonna pick up stars along the way. So there's kind of a, you know, double good feeling coming from that whole thing. So yeah, we need to find new accessories. We want to get some Hermes boots. We want to get all kinds of things we can later on combine. Perhaps we could run into some useful friends in the underground area. And perhaps we could just find even more gold to make sweet armor out of, and, you know, that's always a goal of mine. Sweet armor is high up on the priority list. Uh, of course, collecting resources in general just sort of happens as we go, so I'm not super pressured about what I'm gonna find. I just need to find stuff. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find stuff. This is a, uh, an underground desert, and coming down here is a bad idea because, well, horrifying abominations live down here that I probably don't want to fight. Let's actually just not do that yet. Let's go up and around. You know, what would have been really smart for me to do here is not what I just did, but instead to act like a, uh, a wise adult and create a platform that spans this chasm. The next time I come back, I don't have to necessarily jump in there. Look at me. I'm so smart. Also, let's get rid of this little bit of extra bridge here. I am surprisingly concerned with little things like that. It's uh, probably not going to persevere for the length of the Let's Play. Eventually, there will be some things that will become out of my control, like this moment right here, in fact, uh, that I'm not a huge fan of. These freaking turkey vultures trying to steal my bones before I'm done using them. It's kind of rude as far as rudeness goes. I really wish these guys dropped their umbrellas. I love a good umbrella. And Antlion, not happy about him, so we're going to heal up. Our potions are still awful for now, so like when I get about halfway down, provided I don't... Uh, need to for any other reason. I'm just going to heal up. I'm just going to get rid of those potions right away. Make sure that uh, my health is stocked. Oh look! It's that thing I was mentioning not wanting to run into. The antlion swarmer. It's a horrible looking thing. It's I never want to run into something like... Look at its noodly legs trying to get at me. I hate noodly things like that. Especially on bugs. Well, I don't know. I, I kind of go... I'm of two minds when it comes to bugs. There's the noodly kinds that I really don't like. There's also the crunchy, long, stringy kinds that I hate. Like, I can get down with a fuzzy caterpillar. I think a lot of us can, honestly. You know, a happy fuzzy caterpillar. What's it doing? It's kind of just squinching along on the ground. Sometimes it goes up on a tree. It's not hurting anybody, man. It's just kind of hanging out in life. I'm happy with that. Let it be. Have it, let it have a good day, and we'll all be better off as a result. But then you get into these things, the dragonflies, right, which might as well be made out of, like, mechanical clockwork gears. They'll come land on you. They might have a stinger. They have a weird, like, butt tail. I don't like that around my face. Get that out of there. Then, you've got those horrible mosquito hunters, which freak me right the hell out. If you've ever seen them, they're massive. They'll, they'll take up, they'll get on your window, on your screen, and they will, uh, they will raise a stink about the whole thing. They'll just stand there. And they'll look at you like, what are you, what are you doing? I want to get on your hair, right? That's kind of their main goal. They want to get into your hair, and they want to, I guess, presumably lay a nest or whatever they do. Um, but I don't need their legs in my hair. That's the thing. They have really long, skinny, stringy legs, and they all break off in, like, an instant. They don't have to try. Their legs will break off if you even breathe at them wrong. 
And uh, that's the thing about bugs that I don't respect. They need to put more value on their limbs, and they need to try and keep, keep them attached more. Right? Like, even flies. If you've been around a fly, it'll go on the side of your cup. You'll kind of try and chew it away. Maybe your hand will accidentally brush against the side of it. Like, four or five of its legs fell off right there. That's messed up, man. Don't do that. Keep those legs on. You need those sometimes. You don't, you don't want to bounce around on the ground. What are you going to do with that? Well, I mean, keeping in mind, of course, the sense of scale that we've got going on here is a bit vast. Uh, we're rather large in contrast to a fly, so I guess I can't blame them entirely. It's partially our fault for being so much larger than them. And, well, maybe I guess I should be angry that they haven't gotten larger as a result, but that could be even worse. I was thinking about, in general, like, so the noodly stuff would be, you know, the, like the butt worms and like things that hang out in gross places, maggots, all that kind of creepy stuff. They're like mostly mush, but they have eyes and I guess like they breathe or something. I don't know how they work really, but they just kind of, they get in a big pile and they're all gooey. They leave slime everywhere. Like those are the noodly ones. I don't want those around. But then you've got like the other level of things, which is kind of neither, where you've got for example, and this is just an imaginary creature, this doesn't actually exist to the best of my knowledge, but imagine like a daddy long legs that rises up into the sky the size of like two houses put together. That's a horrible idea, right? Like that should never happen. But that's one way they would keep their legs, right? So like the ultimate conclusion, as far as this goes, is like, this is a bad idea. This whole, the whole insects idea is a bad idea. Maybe we could back away from it and come up with a better solution where everyone could really make out a little better, right? Like, what about ticks? I haven't even talked about ticks yet. Those are an awful idea as well. They're just a little, little gross balloon that sucks all the blood out of you, and then it just sits there all engorged on blood, and then, I don't know, I guess it dies? What was the point of that? You just gave me a bunch of diseases, and nothing even happened. There was no point to any of it. All right, this is getting a little chaotic here. As far as I can tell, I'm headed straight towards the jungle. And I don't want to necessarily be in the jungle right now. What I wanted to do, though, is find more treasure chests. Oh, look at me. We're going we're going down into this, aren't we? There's a treasure chest. I found it. Right, so I don't know if there's, like, an end total summation to my conclusion here on insects and what they should be or do. Uh, just, like, just stay away. That's really, I guess, all I can really advise. If you're an insect uh, and you have very loose legs don't go near me because probably they'll fall off and they'll get in my drink uh, also if you're like okay so this is even another level I didn't remember this at first but if you're a ladybug that's the other thing because they're actually pretty solid mostly until they just want to die everywhere and then their shells fall off like come on just to keep it together if you're gonna die leave like a nice beautiful skeleton like people do or like a bunch of calcified uh, coral reefs walking around inside of skin bags your deal is you're just kind of like a bunch of little bits of like loose, um, I want to say plastic wrap with bits of plastic stuck to it, right? And then when the sun hits them, it all falls apart and like falls all over your room. That's not cool. That's disrespectful. If you're going to breed inside the walls, have the respect at least to leave a cohesive piece of yourself left that I can like pick up nicely and move somewhere else. Don't have all your legs fall off. Don't have all your skeleton fall out. Just, like, keep it together. That's all. It's not asking that much. I don't think, anyway. I mean, that's, like, the least I could do if I die on somebody's property. I'm gonna make sure my skeleton keeps together to the best of my abilities. Which, granted, if I'm dead, I, my abilities are uh, maybe not the best. I don't have the most control over things. Uh, which is why, you know, I'm holding bugs to a higher standard. I think somebody's got to. I think it's about time. Everybody's giving them a break here and there. And uh, I think at, at the end of the day, you give them an inch, they take a mile. They're just trying to take advantage of our goodwill, is really what that's all about. For real, though, like, what? why do we need all these bugs that just give us all these diseases? Can we just not? Can we skip the whole getting, getting Lyme disease part, getting West Nile? Like, I can't keep track of every mosquito that wants to go near my head. I've been outside a lot. There's a lot of bugs out there. They all want to buzz near my ears for some reason. Apparently there's good stuff in there. You know, I've seen what's going on in there. It seems like it's fine, uh, but not really anything getting that worked up over. I mean, I just kind of move on with my life. You look at the mosquitoes, though, or the, the gnats, and they're just like, man, this is, this, is, uh, this is Grub's Tavern where the treasure is hid. I want to get in there. 
I don't know, man. Bugs are real weird. I just want to have less of them, generally. Is there a place in the world where there are no bugs? Because maybe that's the place I need to go. You know, I found out apparently Ireland, like, mostly doesn't have uh, scary woodsland creatures, right? Like, I'm really... I live in upstate New York. I don't really get into the whole, like, there's bears and, uh, you know, all kinds of nasty possums, angry badgers out here. We've got a variety of cougar, mountain lion-y kind of things. There's these fisher cats, which seem like, you know, it's a cat, right? So it can't be that bad. No, apparently it's like an asshole and it eats all your pets. I'm not into that thing. Um, you might wonder why I still live here then. Well, you know, maybe, maybe that's in process. I don't know. But, um... Like, apparently Ireland, they don't really have scary stuff when it comes to the woods. Like, you could go out, you don't have to worry about ticks, really, you don't have to worry about a bear. All you might get is a nice stoat, like a weird weasel, that'll come around and maybe it'll, like, chase you a bit. But it, like, ultimately, it's not gonna do much other than scratch you. It's not gonna give you horrible diseases, probably. And, uh, it's just kinda like, it's just there, right? Like, you could just go out in nature and not get swarmed by bugs and enemies in general, like we're having happen to us right now in Terraria. I'm for that life. Like, I think there should be more places like that, uh, where it's just kind of like, you can just chill outside. Everything's fine. Just calm down. Just, you know, sit for a minute and enjoy your freedom. Right? I don't know. I don't think there's really an obvious solution to this problem. I'm not advocating necessarily that we eliminate all wildlife uh, because somebody will take it to this extreme. I'm just... Just kind of speaking, speaking my mind as it pertains to what I wish the ultimate camping experience could be like. And uh, the bugs and nature enemies, really, they swing right into that whole thing. I don't mind if you have some bunnies out here, they're not gonna do anything, they're gonna bounce around, they're gonna eat a piece of grass or something. Fine, whatever, that's not gonna get in anybody's way. So like, just have more nature that acts like that, just kind of is more respectful. Like, what's the worst thing a bunny can do? It can get, like, stuck somewhere that makes an awful sound and then everybody wants to help it, but you can't get to it because it's in a weird place. That's, like, the worst thing that it could possibly do. I guess if it was rabbit or something, it could, like, bite your leg, which would be awful, too. I mean, nobody wants a rabid bunny for any reason because, I mean, rabies, for one, not cool. Uh, I'm gonna die. Don't die, don't die, don't heal. Okay, do heal, actually. Um, yeah, so rabies is a pretty awful thing in general. It's another disease that I would love to just eradicate entirely. Like, that's another thing. If we could just get rid of the diseases, then the animals that carry them, I guess it's they're not as threatening anymore, right? They could just kind of be around, and we don't have to feel as bad about the whole situation. You get the raccoons out there, they're not going to have rabies anymore. They'll take your trash sometimes, and they'll wash their hands, and they'll eat it. And, uh, well, that's what the bear does as well, right? The bear is really into, you know, they find a spot, they kind of scope it out, they stake it out, they go, hey... This is where the trash is. We're going to now come visit this place for the rest of our lives and future generations. And hopefully, that trash will never go away. And in fact, the trash is so great, we're going to actually take it and throw it in the, the road. We're going to get as much of that trash that we can out of your trash can. We're going to take it all apart. We're going to toss it in the road, and then the cars are going to hit it. And we're going to throw all the rest of the trash throughout all the woods that we can find. By the way, I'm completely aware that this is... 99% a human problem. <laughs> I'm waiting for the comments here. They're gonna be real weird, but I'm just having a, a strange day today. I slept way too long. I, uh, I was up playing this freaking Terraria game that I don't know if you guys have ever heard about. I was up playing it until like 5 a.m. Uh, and working on stuff, doing YouTube-y stuff, and uh, yeah, I had weird nightmares about uh, an airplane and a mask. I don't know. It, it was weird. I didn't like it. And it made me think about bugs and all the things that I don't want to do with bugs, including stringy and noodly ones. But now we've discussed it, and now we can move on. We're crossing the jungle like a boss right now. Uh, there's piranhas. I don't care. Piranhas can't get me. This can. This absolutely can. The man-eater uh, is going to eat my man. And I would rather we work on this instead of getting eaten. I hate that these guys are closing in on me from behind. Can we just cross past this man-eater? Uh, jump! Jump, jump! Oh my god, I didn't get hit. I'm so good at Terraria. Terraria.exe, this is my man. Alright, back into the crimson, because we haven't had enough challenges yet. This is a gauntlet. I have no business being here right now. Oh, look at this very ominous upside-down cactus cross. We're in the crimson. 
We're going hard. We've got to make it to the beach now, I guess. I don't even have Hermes boots. I haven't even found a good cave to go into. Honestly, this is not the best course of action. We really should have gone to the right, I guess. But I wanted to check it out. I want to give it the Scoperinos. See what's going on over here. Maybe there was a fantastic cave I could explore. There's almost guaranteed to be at least one more good cave on the way over. Because how could there be this much map without good caves? Okay, we're going to heal again. And we're going to be... We're like most of the way to full. We're three quarters full. That's good enough for me. I don't think I have anything to mitigate fall damage yet, so I do have to still be cognizant of that. I hope you guys can pardon my inane ramblings. Last time we talked about the mating habits of jellyfish, and I, I had to look into it a little bit. Thank you for giving me links, by the way, in the comments. We, uh, well, I found out apparently I wasn't too far off with my assertions that maybe jellyfish just get, like, bumped into and then split into other ones. Somebody even said there might be, like, a million-year-old jellyfish. I don't know if that's really true. I have to certainly look into it more, but man, that's wild. I remember when Rob said that there was like a million-year-old lobster. Rob's alpaca patrol, by the way, if you don't know. And uh, uh, that's pretty much not true. Uh, I don't think that things work out like that. I think it was like a theoretical, if biochemistry worked the way that it could without variables, that I don't know how to finish this sentence. So actually, let's just go down into this tree uh, and see what's in these chests. And I'm going to pretty much bet there's gonna be a green leaf staff in here right yeah there it is Le leaf wand living wood wands and some potions recall potion danger sense potion cool loot it whatever we'll deal with it later ludum dare that's what we're doing and what's going on over here it looks like there might be a little bit of a, a chasm a crevasse an expanse all right i'm interested you got my attention We've got a little bit of open area here to check out. Let's see. Maybe there's some, some good ore that we could get ourselves into. I'm all about that ore life. I want I want a life made out of stone. That's probably not true. Otherwise, I'd hang out with Medusa all day, and we'll do that later when we get to the marble zone. She's actually... she's I'm sure she's a cool lady, but she's a little bit like a loose cannon when it comes to her uh, snake sense. Like, she'll just shoot those snakes out at any time if she feels even... Probably not even threatened, just like if she's not in the right mood that day. Alright, let's go down here. What do we have? Oh, oh, I found a coin portal! This is a new thing, by the way. Occasionally, you will break a pot, and inside of it is a series of gold coins. Who could be upset with that, right? It's free money. Everybody likes that. So now, we've actually got something to lose. And thank goodness we've got a magic mirror, so that way I don't have to necessarily take the risky trip back. Shuriken, vine ropes, okay. Well, it looks like this is maybe a bit disappointing. Not as much going on in here as I would have hoped. I'm gonna work on my grappling hook skills, apparently, but... Oh, come on. Oh, zombie found its way in. I keep getting the claws stuck in the wall, and then when I go to jump, it makes me fall. I mean, unintentional rhyming befalls us all. There we go. We're out. Let's see what's at the bottom of this. The bottom of the barrel. I'll see you at the bottom. Where the rubber hits the road. Let's go all the way down. There were a couple options here I could have checked into. Oh, really? This is... This is the root of all evil here? Honestly, these root systems seem just implausible to me. How are you going to support a tree that tall with one single straight shaft of, of wood jutting into the ground? That's not enough. Have you seen what kind of winds kick up in Terraria World when after I fight Duke Fishron and I have the ability to make wind? Because generally there is not actually any wind. So honestly, this root system is just fine. What are you on about, Rockley Smile? I don't know. It's been a weird morning today. Drop my food on the floor is kind of sad about that. Happens. Occasionally you just get a little too overzealous. Grab your plate a little forcefully and uh, maybe the, not the right friction. Coming from the food that you expected, it just slides right off, and bam, on the ground. Time to start over. Instead, I just started recording Terraria, because that's what you do. Sometimes you just get frustrated, you're like, hey, I gotta change modes, I gotta switch over to something different right now. And I uh, get myself out of this negative train of thought before I spiral. Oh, here we go. I think we have a revelation! We've got an Assassin's Creed revelation coming up. 
That'll be the next one, Assassin's Creed Gestalt, featuring Assassin's Creed Geralt from Witcher, Witcher's Creed 3. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think it's ever going to be a thing, but you know, you could, you could guess at all kinds of things. Crossover there actually wouldn't be all that far off. Uh, just take Assassin's Creed to a fantasy world, and actually you might have a more interesting game immediately. You know, instead of assassinating dudes all the time, maybe, uh, maybe the guild of assassins become- Oh my god. Grappling hook, please. The assassins guild becomes the witchers, right, over time. And maybe there's a parallel dimension involved, I don't know. I don't tell the witchers what to believe and what not to believe. Uh, but I could see that easily working. Right? That could be the natural evolution of that free-running parkour system. If you ask me, one of the weakest points about Witcher 3, and the Witcher series in general, has been the kind of clunky controls. Now, one of the strongest points of Assassin's Creed is their absolutely next-gen, their words, not mine, uh, system of movement that they choose to employ for all time. You know, it's pretty much rightful that they make a bit of a fuss about that movement system. It works pretty well. And it worked well enough that they decided to make about 7,000 games around it. So that's their prerogative. I'm not talking ill of them. They can do what they need to do about it. I'm just saying, if you want to reinvigorate the Assassin's Creed series, maybe assassinate a Chimera once in a while, or like a Hydra, or... You know, something more interesting than just a dude with a lot of money. Because that's like a lot of the time what you're doing. Well, there's more than just that, but... It does seem to come up somewhat frequently. Dude in control, power play, uh, political intrigue... Assassination, repeat, rinse, slather, repeat. Yeah, you know the deal. How far are we on this freaking map, man? Okay, we're like 95% of the way there. We should have a beach coming up just over the hill. What is this all about over here? Do we have another cave system to explore? I've got to toss glow sticks into every orifice just to see where the glowing occurs. All right. All right, all right. Let's uh, just keep going. Zombies don't scare me these days. I got a boomerang. And what's down here? Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. Just one little pot. Not gonna bother for that. We need uh, higher, higher order impetus at this point. We need, excuse me, we need gold chests. We need uh, nasal uh, fixing solution because apparently I'm quite stuffed all of a sudden. All right, there we go. Stars. Why did the sound get weird? Oh, does the beach have its own theme now? Apparently it does. All right, we've reached the coral reefs. I'm gonna grab a couple bits of coral and then let's get our teleport ready and we're just gonna head down. Oh, there is a shark in the water. I should not be here. I should not be here. Okay, can I kill the shark is the next question. Uh, boomerang, quick. Turn it around, shark. So you're at a huge disadvantage because I can leave the water, and you cannot. I also have a long-range weapon, and you have teeth. That'd be sweet if you could kill the shark enough time to get his teeth, then mount him on the side of the boomerang and use it. It would be like a long-range shark. Oh, wait, they already have a mini shark and a mega shark in this. Well, I don't know if it's an actual real shark that made that up, but... I guess that's, uh, not my business, really. I'm not in the business of shark disclosure. Oh, there is actually a man up there. How can I get to him? He's, like, kind of far out there. I'm gonna have to build a platform. And this is our fisherman. We'll name him Gordon, because he makes fantastic fish sticks. Let's go grab him. Hello, sleeping friend. Uh, you were reeling in the big one when this funny-talking zombie burst out of the forest lake and started rambling on about this ferocious species of fish made out of dirt. So says it could suffocate ten blokes his size or something like that. I want it now. Caught surface underground caverns. This is the dirt fish. All right, thank you for your dirt fish quest. I hope to see you soon uh, in the place that I live. Now, do I want to do this? I kind of want to do this. Let's hope there's not another shark. If there's another shark, we're going to straight-up teleport because I should have some gold. We're going to get what's in this chest with time to spare. Yes. Breathing rod, eh, 50 silver. Not the best loot I've had recently, I'll be honest. I'll be on -ist. I mean, I'll be honest, I, uh, I choose to focus on things to do with Fable Mythos only. 
That's kind of where my allegiances lie. And now can we farm this chest out before something attacks me? I hope we have time. Oh, there's also a chest, or a chest, there's a star down here too. Do we have a second chest? I am going to run out of uh, hearts. No, that's, that's bubbles. Oh, there is a second chest. Okay, another breathing rod. Oh, the worst. All right, loot it all. Uh, we don't need any more leaf wands. I think I've already sorted this out earlier, so let's just grab the rest of the bars and double up on chests, then teleport as quickly as possible. Don't die. Teleport. All right. We made it. We made it, boys. We're out. And we've got a bunch of stars and all kinds of stuff to sort through. Well, that was a rousing little adventure. I didn't expect that it was going to take us all the way over there, but it did. We've now got this entire map mapped, and we've got... I guess just the jungle entrance there to look for, uh, and a kind of a sad little tree area. Now, how come we're seeing so very few entrances to the underground? Really, there's just been like this, and I think I forced a lot of this with bombs, too. Is this how you expect me to do this stuff? You expect me to all do, just get the bombs and work it all out myself? I guess we've got this desert opening as well here, but pretty sure that's not going to work out well for us in the long term. Um, so I guess next time, what we'll do is we'll head over to the right, and we'll complete that side of the map, hopefully finding a few other entrances into the dirt, and maybe more viable crimson, because I think the crimson that was here, eh, you know what, it was fine. I'm not gonna complain. It's kind of bordering on the jungle a little, right? So, I don't know, it could be interesting, actually. Maybe there's some good stuff that could happen with that combination, or maybe it's horrifying, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We need better armor, we need more life, we need stars, right? We've got stars, actually. Why don't we pop some in? Uh, let me begin. Let's go to the ammo chest. I have to name a couple of these chests. I haven't actually put anything in them yet. Furniture, weapons. We're putting weapons together. Quick stack. Oh, all we got is shuriken out of that. <laughs> Fair enough. And we'll pop our ore right in here. Quick stack. Oh, that was actually kind of helpful. And we've got nine fallen stars. So let's craft those suckers right about now. Where are they at? Stars. Monocrystals. Pop them. Three. That should be most of the stars, right? Two. Three. What do we get? 200? I think that's the end of it. We just get all the stars. Wow. Good for me. All right. Fantastic. So that is going to be today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this bizarre ranting, rambling, raving, and uh, lunacy. And I will see you again for another one real soon. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the episode, because it does mean a lot and helps keep the series propagating forward with good momentum. I look forward to bringing you lots more Terraria, and I will see you all tomorrow.